Hey, it's Seth from Waldo World. Uh, quick shout out before we go on with this video. There's this cool YouTuber who's a good friend of mine, F-Stop AK, ran by Marty Fowler. I'll include his link in the bio. He helped me make this video, so it'd be really cool if you guys gave him a like and some subscribes. Now, when it comes to this video, it's another shoe review. So stay tuned. So, the shoe that I'm reviewing is the Salmon X Ultra 3 GTX. It's a long name that's hard to remember, but it's also cool, and this is a cool shoe. Now, what this shoe is, it's a shoe made by Solomon. It's for the outdoor enthusiast, basically. Now, why I wanted this shoe, I wanted something with really good grip. I wanted something comfortable and durable, good looking, easy to take on and off. That's really all there was to it. Now, I've owned this shoe for two to three weeks, and I can give you, you know, what I like about it and what I don't like about it. And I also did some tests with this shoe that I just really want to see work out and see if I like it or not. Now, when it came to the tests, first thing that I did was to try out the waterproofing. Long story short, my foot stayed really dry in this shoe. It was cold water and I wanted them to stay dry and, you know, Gore-Tex is marketed for a reason. It is a great material. This is my first set of Gore-Tex shoes ever and I absolutely... Never would have thought of Gore-Tex shoes before I ran across these Solomons. It's genius. Uh, they did a great job. In terms of you know hiking and, and outdoor activities, I took these uh, doing a little walking. You can call me a mountaineer if you want. So yeah, the trail, it had snow on it, it had some ice on it. I even put this on a tree just to uh, see how well it gripped things. It did fine. Uh, I didn't really get to try to name mud, and that's something that I'd like to see the shoe in, but. After it handled everything else, I have no doubts that this thing can handle mud. It, uh, it performed out in, the, out in the field. So let's talk about what I don't like about this shoe, or basically just some of the cons. You know, There's no huge red flags, but just to start out with, shoe is 145 bucks. I got it on sale on eBay. You know, that's just the type of person I am. Other con is that they take a little longer to put on than I thought they would. You know, I tried these on the sporting goods store and I didn't know exactly like what to do with this as I've never owned these types of shoes before. You stuff the little extra laces up under the tongue. I didn't know that. So, you know, it's not really much of a con. It's really nice once you kind of get the handle of it. It's out of the way. It's not going to loosen on you. And it, you know, it's just, it's a good idea actually, you know, and it's something that I wasn't in love with at first, but it's starting to grow on me. And it just, you know, it takes about two or three weeks and you're like, wow, I really like it. Or you don't notice it at all because you're not a picky reviewer type of person, or at least you're not trying to be a reviewer type of person. Let's talk about the pros. Grip was amazing. It did a good job on the surfaces and textures that I put it through. When it comes to ice though, you know, I was really sure-footed because I'm holding that camera, you know, filming myself walking over the ice just to see how well it was as some b-roll. Did a good job. Uh, would I recommend it over cleats? No. Can you still fall and slip? I know some people that can slip on ice really easy. You know who you are. When it comes to like the sole, you know, it's a good, it's got some good comfort to it. Good flex, you know, I've had other, you know, I tried on some like Adidas that were in this realm of shoe and they were so stiff up here and this shoe doesn't have that. And it's also got a rubber safety tail. It's a nice feature, I like it. Also when it comes to comfort, more for a high arch, you can take the insole out and you know, put whatever you prefer, but straight out the box, it did a good job for me. I really liked it. Durability, it seems like it should be pretty good. I'll see where they take me after that. You know, I don't do super crazy things, but I do, uh, I make shoes look pretty ugly after a while, so. I'll let you guys know about them. Uh, and everything else about these shoes, I was, a, I was a fan of. So it all boils down to the question of whether or not I recommend it. I have a great analogy for this shoe. Think of a brand new Tacoma TRD package, basically. You can pick up the kids or you can go ahead and grab some milk or if you wanna go on a little back road, you can go ahead and do that. If you wanna go ahead and race the Baja with it, you're gonna have to maybe pick something else or do a lot to it. Or if you wanna like take it rock crawling, you're gonna have to do some stuff with it or get something else. Basically what this shoe is, I wouldn't wanna run a you know big mountain race with this necessarily. It's got a little more weight to it, which is okay with me. I'm not really a light freak. If what you want this shoe for is what I wanted it for, which is just like a daily driver, 
it's a good choice for a shoe. Uh, that's basically all there is to it. If you're looking at buying this shoe, uh, there's a link below this video, and it's actually right below the link to F-Stop AK's channel. What you can do is you can watch his sweet vids, and then you can cop a pair of these sweet shoes, and then you'll be hot to trot, basically. You know, in terms of sizing, I'm a 12. They fit my feet perfectly. Should you try them on before? Probably. But if you can't, then you can't. Yeah, that's really all there is to it. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, this is number two of the 20 I plan on bringing on to Waldo World for 2019, so stay tuned for more. They'll keep coming on as the year goes by. If this is your first Waldo World video, check out my other stuff. You know, it's whatever. Yeah, some people like it, some people don't. Um, basically, yeah, that's all, all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and have a good one.